Welcome to Evening Prayer, my friends, on this Friday evening here at St. John's. Our theme has been this week, the season of creation that we are about to uh, enter into here at St. John's. And we've spoken of the themes this year, forest, land, wilderness, and rivers. And now on this last night of the work week, I simply want to share with you one of the most beautiful texts that speaks of God's love for creation, God's love for us, and the trustworthiness of God. This is from Matthew 6. Jesus says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. Therefore do not worry, saying, what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear? Your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. Jesus looks at the birds and at the beauty of the fields and lifts that beauty up as example of God's care. And if God cares for that part of creation, God will care for us as well. It's a peaceful, good text. For the end of the day. I invite you now into prayer. Gracious God, the night is for stillness. Help us to now be still in your presence. What has been done today has been done, and what has not been done has not been done. Help us to let it be. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us and all who are dear to us and all who have no peace. And help us now to look expectantly to a new day, to new joys, to new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And the blessing we've been using this week, may the Spirit of God, who brooded over the waters and brought order out of chaos, find a home in your hearts and settle your minds as you sleep, so that tomorrow you may wake and live to God's glory. Amen. Thanks for praying with me tonight. I'll see you next week. Rest well.